Good morning, or good afternoon, YouTubers. This is my Hey Hey shirt. And um, I'm zoomed up a little bit for this video because I noticed in my last video that y'all couldn't see me half the time. So I'm hoping that this time will be better. Um, as YouTube viewers can tell, I'm not very good at this. Anyway, now about paste. I am... Um, I literally make my own embossing paste. Yes, I do. My own glitter paste. So there are a couple of things, reasons for that. Number one, I don't like glitter that floats around. So I don't use glitter. See, this one I made out of yellow glitter. Ooh. Um, this one I made out of silver glitter. Ooh. And this one I made out of gold glitter. Ooh. And all of it is made out of good old transparent gloss texture paste from Ranger and ultra fine glitter. That is how I make it. Um, I don't like glitter that floats around my studio. Why? Because glitter that floats around your studio. That's why. Um, I got this entire pack at Tuesday morning. There you go. $2.99 instead of $5.99. Why? Because I'm cheap. And I'm, I'm, I don't like glitter. I'm not going to use it with double-sided tape because I, yeah. I love sparkle. I don't like glitter. Um, but if you do and you want to save money, this uh, was also on sale. But this, Ranger makes everything, by the way, Tonic makes all of its stuff in China. Ranger makes all of its stuff in the U.S., so this is made in the U.S., uh, somewhere in New Jersey. And, uh, see, made in the USA. Uh, so that's why I buy Ranger products. Um, so uh, Tonic does not. It's made in China. Um, this is really easy. This is really easy. And it doesn't get dry. So I made these a really long time ago. Um, last, last week, week before last. So this is an old bottle of embossing powder and that's gold embossing paste. You make as much as you want, as little as you want. I'm in the middle of making Christmas cards, as you can see. Here's how you do this. You take your glass mat or your washable mat. I like my glass mat. Um, and you take one of your tools. Now, as I said in my last video, this entire set of tools, this is a set of paint scrapers um, uh, from Walmart, literally from Walmart, $1.98, might have been $2.98, I'm not really sure, in their paint department, came as pack, there you go. So you get a small one and you get a large one. When you're doing a large stencil, you want a large one, when you're doing a smaller stencil, you want a small one. The other thing that I use is, this was a Dalla at the Dollar Tree. This is a silicone uh, spatula that I cut down to get into bottles. But again, that's also a good thing for doing things. So I, this is another one of my favorite tools. This tool is a Teflon sandwich spreader. I don't know where to tell you to get these except for Heroes Welcome General Store in North Hero, Vermont. It's the only place I've ever seen these. This thing is great. It's Teflon. It's $3.99. Uh, notice the difference there. It's $3.99. I, I have tried Googling Teflon sandwich spreader. I have no idea where they stock them from. But again, so $2.98. These are plastic. They clean up nice. Teflon, $3.99. A dollar. Um, the problem with this one is, as you can see, is the more you use it and the more you twist it. Betty Crocker at your local Dollar Tree. Um, then there's this. This is Master's Touch. This comes from, uh, I think it was Hobby Lobby. Whoever makes Master's Touch. I don't know if it's Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Um, this is more expensive. This comes in a pack. Um or I think I bought this one was on sale in the clearance rack. So this one is more expensive and this is an actual palette knife for doing palette stuff. 
because this is metal it doesn't clean up as much so you are going to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub on this one okay so the other thing you're going to need if you're going to do embossing paste and embossing glitter is you're going to need some stencils I mean, you can't just smear it on cardstock um that is another fun thing to do you can do that but you can also you're going to need stencils. So this is an 8x8 picture album and I started storing mine this way because um, I, I'm i friends with Corin Wiskman and Mary Polenko and they store theirs this way. I think they have a three ring binder. Mine is one of those um, photo albums you can add things to. Can you hear my little birdies? They love to talk when I'm talking because they think it's fun. So in the front here I have something I also want to show you. You can buy blank stencil. When you do buy blank stencil, it comes covered with a plastic wrap. Okay? You can make your own stencils all the time. Just make sure you peel this stuff off because if you don't, it won't cut. If you peel this stuff off, you can run it through your Gemini Junior. It cuts just fine. So, um, what I have a tendency to do is that I will do two things. It comes in a pack on Amazon, a pack of um, eight and a half by 11 sheets, and you can cut them down. I tend to make six by six stencils. Um, I tend to make uh, one out of cardboard first, um, or cardstock. So I made a stencil like this because I needed it, and I made a, um, a masking stencil, and I'll show you what those look like and how those work. But, and then I keep the originals because you never know when you're going to use them. So like, for instance, here's that stencil. Um, and I keep them together. I can use the outside. I can use the inside um, to mask things off. Good old uh, temporary dots from Tombow Mono Adhesive. Here's, um, I organize my stencils by what they do. So for instance, this, I think this is a pretty, yes, pretty pink posh wide stripes. Um, I don't know whose stencil I copied, honestly, but I really liked it. So there it is. And I think this is from Cat Scrappiness. They don't mark their stencils, but I'm pretty sure it's Cat Scrappiness wavy lines or balloon lines or something like that. Anything like, anyway. Um, I don't mark them on here because most of them are marked and I may rearrange my stencils. You never know. Um, this one is from Cabin Creek Designs. I went to a scrapbooking convention and when I bought all of their things, I got this stencil. Again, this one's not marked, but I'm pretty sure that's Cabin Creek Designs. Um, I find it, it, you know, everybody's are very different. This is a Doris stencil. It's sticky on the back. Um, I think this is heavy doodle. You know, one of the things is I'm going blind. We're going to use this one today because I'm going to get this is a pretty pink posh. It's the bow ties. Stamping Up does their stencils in black. Frankly, I like that because you can see where it is. I think this is a no name stencil that was given to me. It's smaller. Um, anyway, these are all my dot stencils. Um, this one is, it's a confetti, it's a two-piece card size confetti stencil from MFT. It's great. That's their um, rain stencil, their snow stencil. Um, I think this is, uh, I don't know whose halftone stencil this is, but it's like Heffy Doodle or um, your next stamp, I can't remember. Again, these are, um, this is a mandala stencil back ones from your next stamp and this one is um, from the um, what was it mandel um, mandel mandel man madeline madeline uh, die set a while back from um, Simon says stamp and I thought it was gorgeous. I love it when I stencil it. I love it when I cut it, I die cut it. Um, so I just 
I keep it. You can make a stencil yourself out of any of your dies. You just have to make sure you have two or three layers because that'll make it sturdier. Okay? Anyway, I just wanted to show you how I organize my die cuts um, in the back here. This is another thing I wanted to show you. This is a stencil that I made, um, and we're going to use the other side of this. This is from, I'm going to put this away because we're going to use this stencil today, and we're going to use this one. This is MFT's um, Peace on Earth Dove, Dove with the Branch. This was their Peace on Earth, and what I did was I put the Peace on Earth down, I traced around it, because I wanted a stencil of... I knocked my camera. There we go. Um, I wanted a stencil that I could do a shadow background. This is the MFT tree um, so that I can color it in. I can do what I want. Um, the, the plastic was too delicate. This stencil was too delicate to do in the plastic. So I cut the plastic off, but we're just going to use this part because I want to show you a different way of doing that. This is the stencil I made from the Christmas tree. You can do it in two layers. You can do it in one layer. When you're doing texture paste, you want to do two layers. So I just cut, actually I cut three of them, but as you can see, all I did was glue it together. Now, let's get to making the paste. Today... Um, I have gold paste, I have silver paste. Today we are going to make copper paste. So I like this because it comes in this cute little tray. And let me show you what you do. Okay, and you can do this on um, any kind of cardstock you want. You can do it on all kinds of things. And it depends on how much you wanna make, but I'm gonna make quite a bit because I'm gonna keep it. All right, so there you go. There's a blob, all right? And you can make less. You can make just a little tiny bit. You really don't need that. You literally don't need very much. So for one stencil, you probably need like that much, all right? So we'll do two and we'll do them in different colors, all right? So there's a big one I'm gonna make the rose in a lot. I'm actually going to pour it out. So basically what you want to do is it, it, it's a lot like what you want to do is you want to capture the um, glitter before it flies all over your craft room. Okay, ultra fine works the best because um, it really mixes well in there. So if you mix in a little bit it will be mostly shiny with a little bit of glitter. But what you really want to do, and this is the, the hint with glacier paste and glitter gel and all those other kinds. So you see how you can still see some of the white? So the idea here is this is sort of what's well, copper. All right. So the idea is if you want it to get it to look like glitter gel, or um, glacier paste, it's gotta have more, lots more glitter in it. Okay, so it's gotta look mostly like the color of glitter that you're trying for. And it can't look white, okay? That's the idea. So here we go. See how you can see how it's really coppery? It's really coppery. And that's the hint between making it like, um, I should have started with a different, I always start with this one because it's um, easier to get in the jar of texture paste. You also wanna, before you start making this, you wanna get a nice jar, a nice bowl of, not a jar, don't get a jar, you're not gonna, that will not work because you got to put your stencils in it too. Um, you want a nice jar, a bowl of soapy water so you can stick everything in it because texture paste 
It is goopy and if you do not wash it off immediately, you will end up scrubbing for decades or rebuying your stencil. Okay, so here you go. You mix it up. See that? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So, see how it's really coppery? It's not white at all. It's not white at all. Look at the, look at the difference. See the difference? There's the difference. Now, let's try it on some paper. All right. So this is a five and a half by, well, actually it's 11 and a half by four and a quarter piece of paper, but I'm just gonna do the whole thing. My trusty make art station. I am, I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of the ruler, but I love these magnets. I think these magnets are amazing. Let's make sure you're in the picture this time. Can you see the picture? There's the picture. Now, as I said, you really don't need much. So, this is where these guys come in handy. I know I'm putting a lot on here, but I would rather put a lot on and then scrape more off so that I know I'm getting the whole thing. Sort of all at once. off as you possibly can because when you don't you will scrub it off frankly I'm not up to scrubbing so you want to make sure you get all the dots in there so the cool thing about texture paste is texture so if you scrub you know more work flat along the stencil it's going to fill in all those dots nicely and it will, um, it's going to look really cool. It really is. Here we go. Ready? There. And now, basically, that is going to be just like glimmer paste. And it doesn't look really coppery right now, but it's going to be really coppery. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little. It dries pretty fast. Um, it does not dry slowly. Let me see if I've got, I wanna do another one on this brown paper with this. Well, that was dumb. Well, I guess I'm not going to do it with that stencil because I just put that stencil on the one. Okay, let's do this stencil. So what I'm going to do with this one, by the way, this uh, Wendy Vecchi station is like so worth it. So one of the things I really like to do is um, line up my stencil. This is another MFT stencil. What's this one called? Geometric Stars. So this this station is absolutely so bloody worth it because everything just stays right there okay that's i'm gonna want the i was 
You still listen to Ellen. You're going to want that more in the middle. Yes, you are. So you're going to want to line it up with the top of that star. There we go. That's better. So it's okay with me if it's hanging off the middle because I'm only going to do the middle. There we go. Somebody said to me, how did I get the moon so round? After you've been a crafter for a while, you'll learn how to do things like circles. Um, I think I may do a video on paper. So this is just the background for a sentiment I'm going to do. A quickie Christmas card. do you store this stuff? You store it in little bottles you've got left over. You know, from beads, from all kinds of things. So, now I'm going to show you one more thing you can do with this. Those will dry. I'm going to hit them with a um, heat tool so you can see what they look like. So you got another choice too. These, you can store them in your old Zing bottles or you can store it in, these come in a 12 pack at the Dollar Tree. Also a really good thing for storing it. Or you could make it um, uh, only up in what you wanna, what you wanna use. You know, I'm gonna be making Christmas cards for the next three or four weeks. So I need copper, gold, silver, so I'm just making extra, you know, um, so that I can use lots. So as I said, these things are marvelous and um, they wipe up really well. So also from the Dollar Tree, a dollar. I love you, Brutus, but you know what? If you uh, really want one of these bottles, you can also buy them at the Dollar Tree. So, um, this cleans up with water if it's still wet. Um, soap and water if you want to keep crafting. So, um, it will scrape off of your... See, this is one of the things I like about this mat, too. Is you can scrape stuff off of it and now I want to show you one more um, this will come up with soap and water but right now I just wanted to get my tools clean so that we can move on so a little blob I want to show you something really cool we're gonna make up some silver um, Remember what I said. First of all, capture the <laughs> capture it before it goes flying all over your craft room. And see, you've got some time to work with the texture paste. It's it's not going to dry right away, um, but at the same time, it's not going to um, it's not going to take overnight to dry. It 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 takes especially when you're making a really thin mix of it but again you want it to look like the color of glitter that you're using you, you don't want it so thick that it's um you know when it gets like f frosting gets like thick and you can like like fondant you don't want it fondant but more like buttercream not really runny but more like buttercream and, uh, okay, I'm going to say this again. I think texture paste smells like bubblegum. And, uh, I just, I just like the smell of texture. 
extra base. I am such a dork. Um, oh, the joys of crafting. So there you go. This is like probably enough for one card. See, not very much. Looks like silver because it is silver. And it's not crumbly, but there you go. Now, this is my uh, lovely dough. And this is my heavyweight cardstock. So this is the actual dove that it cuts out. And uh, this is my idea. And this is the removable Tombow dots. And this is the middle of a card. There we go. And this is what I thought would be really cool. Okay, there seems to be a flop in there. Never be afraid to get your hands dirty. So, reverse stenciling. And there you have it. I hope you give this a try. So I have lots of glitter left. Um, the big cost in this one is the stencil powder. So um, is the texture powder paste. Um, but you can make it up however you want, whenever you want. Um, let's try peeling this off. I'm going to put um, a cutout in the middle of this. So, there we go. Pretty cool, huh? Now, that's what the copper looks like when it's basically almost dry. So, not bad. For $2.99 for four... Uh, one ounce bottles of glitter and six bucks for a four ounce jar of texture paste. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Looking forward to posting the cards I'm going to make with these. Talk to y'all later, tubeubers. Bye.